Hello and welcome back to another video. My name is Christina and I am going to make a VR to Logan from Larkin Legend about their hashtag deck reconnect and it's um it's just a hashtag where you uh share the decks that you want to reconnect with in this new year 2023. Um it can be decks that you've acquired and haven't had time to work with or decks that you have connected with and not used in a long time. I have a few that fit into this category um, as well as new to me decks that are... are um, yeah in need of some love and connection so i'm gonna start with this is the wild unknown tarot by kim kranz and it is the first edition that came out um in the you can get it this you can get this now mass market um, the backs and some of the cards would be different. Oh dear. What a card to have as the first one. So, yeah. This, when I got it in, 2020, and in 2014, it was, um, I loved it. I was like, this is my soul deck. This is so intuitive for me I understand every single card well not every single card I still am iffy about the seven of pentacles um, I can't really connect it to the meaning uh, of the card I, I can't even remember the the image of the uh, Rider Waite Smith when I try to connect the, the this version to that one to even remind, remind myself of the meaning, but that might just be my ADHD, so who knows. Um, but yeah, I am looking forward to working with this one again and just, um, yeah, reconnecting with the art, reconnecting with the animals, reconnecting with the meanings. Um, and just use it again because I, I used to use this deck a lot, a lot. Um, when I first got it, I didn't have the guidebook. I relied mostly on my intuition and the little flip page that comes with it. Um, so yeah, it's a wild unknown tarot. Viking friends. Next up, I haven't used this deck a lot, but I like it. I like the deck itself. I just don't know why I'm not using it. Um, since it's it's so um it's so oh, friendly. I guess. This is Sasurai Bito Tarot um, by Stasia Burrington. I love the art. I love the world in this deck. I just, I love this card. I love this card. I've done this several times. I've been like, I don't know what else to do with my life, so I'm just going to cut my hair <laughs> and see where it takes me. So, yeah, I don't have much to say about this deck because I haven't worked a lot with it. I, yeah, that's underwhelming, but, you know, what can I say? I, I, it's, there's not much to say if, if I haven't worked with. A deck for a long time or if I haven't 
used it at all. I have used this, but hmm, it's like he's holding his breath. Um, I have used it, but I mean, I recently got this card and everything, so uh, I, I just don't know what to say about this one. I don't know how to feel. Um, I know it's this is the go to deck for many people. And I kind of want that to happen to me as well. Um, so we'll see. We'll see if I can work with this deck uh, this year. And how, how it's going to go. This is a brand new one to me. Um, and I am liking it. Um, this is a Reclaim Oracle. I am not sure if this is still in print. I think the creator comes out with some uh, copies every so often, or maybe not every so often, but I think they um, they do printings of this deck still. But you can get it in trade groups. I got it in a trade. Um, yeah, I am pairing this currently with the Tarot of the Crone. And it's working beautifully. Um, I don't do much of uh, pairing Tarot decks with Oracle decks. I usually, most, uh, I usually use mostly... That was not correct English. I usually use tarot, um, mostly. Um, Oracle decks are just, um, an accla uh, uh, acclaration. Uh, Oh dear, words escape me. Oh, fitting, disappointment. <clears throat> yeah, this is a very strong deck to work with. And I think it's very fitting to have it with the Tarot of the Crone. Um, I'm excited to see where it takes me um, in its in this you know exploration and it's quite the chonker. Look at look at this. Now speaking of the Tarot of the Crone, I do apologize. This is out of print. So this is the second edition with the back, the black backs and borders. Um, I do really like this deck. Um, it doesn't follow necessarily the Rider Waite Smith, especially in the court cards. Um, the court cards are renamed to oh. I know there's Beast, Witch, and Shadow, but I am forgetting what the page is renamed as. But yeah, this is very intuitive for me. This is a very visceral deck. Um, I've worked with this a lot already. Um, but uh, I want to reconnect with this one as well grandmother grandmother there's grandmother and um beast which actually i think it's beast which grandmother and shadow not sure do not quote me um, it's, it's been a while since I've gone through the book. I love this chariot. It's so fun. Um, 
but yeah this is this is a good one and it's it's never gonna leave my connection it's also very like ragged do you see the borders I used it a lot. I'm I'm a rough shuffler. And that same area, by the way, this is by Ellen Lorenzi Prince. And in that same uh I guess creator Creatrix. Um by Ellen Lorenzi Prince is also the Dark Goddess Tarot and I have it out mostly because I tonight is the new moon I'm planning to have a, a reading for the new moon using the Dark Goddess Tarot, Tarot of the Crone and the uh, Reclaim Oracle and see what comes up because I'm excited about these, uh, this trio. Um, yeah. I got this out of not necessarily FOMO, but it, it was weird because the first time I saw this deck, I wasn't very attracted to the art. And then suddenly, out of nowhere, I was watching somebody um, do a walkthrough of this deck, and I'm like, oh my god, this is beautiful. Oh, there's a printing damage here. Um, but it's okay. Uh, I don't mind it. Um, this deck is beautiful, and the value of having so many goddesses and, and just one deck and having the layer of tarot as well as the goddess of stories it's just um i don't i don't know how to express it i just had to have it <laughs> um and by that time it was out of print um so i emailed the creator and was like hey if this deck ever goes back in print please let me know i want to have it they were like okay we'll let you know and they did and i and i ordered it the first time like it was back into pre-order mode um so this you can get it as mass market it's just gonna have different backs and uh different titles um like not different titles but there's going to be like a banner on top um, for the titles of the tarot and the names on the below. Yay, Athena. Um, so yeah, an Artemis, yay. And then this deck is also out of print, so I do apologize. This is the Bone Stone and Earth Bone Stone and Earth Flesh Tarot. It's quite a big name. Um, this one, I just want to use it. I have already connected with the images because I was part of the creation process when the Bone Stone bashes were going on. Um, so. I know many of these images and and the story behind them already because um, I have that context uh, but yeah I just I just want to use this more um, I have this is by Avalon Cameron and art by Anna Torian by the way so yeah it's just beautiful. Okay. Sorry. I'm gonna stop. Because it's, 
it's out of print. I'm sorry. Um, you can you can get the the sketch version, um, but yeah. And then I think that is it because if I keep going, I'm just gonna show you my whole collection. That's not the idea here. This is not a collection video. It's a deck reconnect re video. The yeah. Okay. Well, until next time, um, you'll see me when you'll see me, and hopefully I can get another video done today. Um, I'm trying to film back to back so that I have enough to edit and post and have my YouTube repertoire grow, my YouTube video library grow. Who knows? Okay. Bye-bye.